Hello there. Hello, Miss Emily B. Hi. <laughs> what are we doing? What's the inspiration? Okay, well, usually nice. I let her kind of freestyle, but today I brought in, or I showed her a picture of the picture you sent me with the blackbird. So I think I'm gonna use that as inspiration. When I was like 13, my mother had a newborn baby. And our deal was if I babysit on Saturdays, then she would get my nails done. So every two weeks, every other week she, you know, she had to work. So every two weeks I would get my nails done. I would get my little fill-in, my little designs, my little airbrush, because back then with airbrush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's when it all started. And then for a long time, I was a natural girl. Natural nails even to the point where I just wore nude and clear because right. I thought it was ghetto. Like, oh, I don't want nails, like that's ghetto. And um, in October, it was Breast Cancer Awareness Month and my mother, um, she just um, she just became cancer free. Congratulations. Yep, in November we found out. So actually in October, you know, she was still going through treatments or whatever mm -hmm. and um, just to, you know, just for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, um, she did breast cancer awareness nails. And we did the ribbons and pink and pink stones, and we had a lot of fun with it. So it was like, kind of like a tribute to my mom. What's life like after loving hip hop? Oh God. <laughs> life after loving hip hop. It's still, it's still like lo loving hip hop. It's like I'm still on the show. I think the show has such a huge impact and being that it's on now and I'm not on the show, it really brings an awareness to me because it's like, where's Emily? Mm -hmm. you know, every day I get people hitting me up like, we miss you on the show and then I get a lot of people that say, oh, I'm glad you're not on that show. Right. You right. know, the show, when I started the show, the show was me, you, Christy, Olivia, and a lot of people don't know Misa, Misa mm -hmm. Hilton. You know, that was love and hip hop New York. That was, that's, that's Puff, that's Swiss, that's... Jim Jones, that's 50 Cent right. and Fab. Like, that's New York. You know, that's real hip hop. Uh, so, when I started the show, it was just a different dynamic and a different set of girls. And now I really don't know what the show is about. Mm -hmm. You know, no, I'm not knocking them because I watch entertainment. Um, but it's just not the same. I don't really know if it's about the love anymore. I tried to do like a little scene for you. Like, you did a little feather. So, when you go, you move your hands like this. It'll be the scene. So, we did some blackbirds flying and I'm um, a feather. Um, I've never really like, I never measure time, it's like, you know, when you're doing it, you're not thinking about anything else. You're just doing the art. You're encompassing the art. That's it. Our nails are finally dry, and we're fabulous. Emily's got the black bird going on. I've got the vintage Pucci and the Silvarsi crystal crystals. <laughs> Thank you so much, Regina. You are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so really quickly, just tell me the maintenance rules. What do I need to do to maintain this? Just to maintain your nails, you know, don't use your nails as tools. No flipping up, coat cans, none of that. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, just keep your hands moisturized so you don't walk around looking ashy. Cuticle oil is great, cuticle balm. So just stay moisturized and, and be careful. I had a really good time tonight. I got my nails done, I have crystals on my nails, I have poochie on my nails, and I don't know what to do with myself. This is the first time ever, so I'm excited. Had fun with my girls, and I just want to thank you guys for watching The Lifestyler. If you're an artist, comment here and let me know what you do. Maybe you'll be featured on Lifestylers.